In a world full of confusing terms, we have nits versus lux. What do they mean? We'll get to it right after the intro, and you'll learn. It's a battle of words. Let's do that right now. All right, we're back. And uh, Nits versus Lux. We might learn something here. Nits versus Lux it is not, you know, the Northampton Nits versus the Luxembourg. Paul guys. No. It's not a soccer match. It's not a baseball team. Uh, but you'll hear these bandied about all over tech reviews, especially when we're talking about screens, you know. We'll get the deep inky blacks, uh, and, you know, and all the other nitwit terms. Ah, nitwit has nothing to do with nits. Luxembourg has nothing to do with lux. And, uh, although... I'll bet you, at some point in American history, we had a gangster named Lux Bananas. Who knows? But, that's neither here nor there. But let's say you have a thousand Lux, or Nits, on your screen brightness. Which you probably can't see here, because it's, I got it way too far up. Uh, Alright. Well... You're never going to see it. You're just going to see me referring to it. Uh, one knit. Let's say I had ten. Let's say I had a thousand knits. We'll go with a thousand. You had 3,159 lux. Well, that would sound pretty outrageous. We're talking outrageous. But you hear these words, and sometimes they're used interchangeably, and sometimes I'm not exactly sure if the tech reviewer knows the difference. But one nit equals 3.159 lux. And if that number sounds familiar, which it should, if you paid attention in school or if they still taught this stuff, you might think that we bombed. The Chinese during World War II. If you do, you went to the wrong school. Uh, one net equals one, 3.159. Now, 3.159, think of it, it's a Greek word, you know, it's a little symbol. P I pie. It's not apple pie, it's not cherry pie, it's just pie. These are all kinds of stuff. So basically, in your head when you hear this stuff, just multiply by, I don't know, 3.2. And you'll get an idea of lux versus lumens, or divide. It's that easy. Uh, one that equals 3.159 Lux. And that's all there is to it. Now, of course, you could look this up yourself. But I figured I would just throw it out there and let folks learn. Because maybe you're afraid to ask, or maybe you are way too busy using your Google Assistant or Siri to find the coolest YouTube video with uh, some stupid cat, which, you know, is more prevalent nowadays than it should be. Uh, just because it's a common term doesn't mean common sense is that common. You'll hear these from various tech reviewers, 
I'm not sure if they know the difference. But the cell phone manufacturers, the guys who make these, you know, things. With the deep pinky black. Yeah, this one's turned off. Uh, we'll tell you how many nits it is, usually. Because the lux number would sound outrageous. And if it happens to be a laptop at the time, well, you could use it in those or out there. A lot of times they use the word lux. It sounds like it's more. It's not. It's actually divided by 3.2. That's your nits. Stick with nits. And don't be a nitwit. It's okay to be nitpicky. But when your lux run out, you're screwed. So thanks for watching. If you learned something, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave some feedback. And yeah, I tried to make it funny at the beginning, but man, well, let's face it. Uh, I am not George Carlin. You know, I'm like Nitwit. I mean, shall we spell nitwit with just one word? Or is that a guy who has a lot of humorous stories about the brightness of light? He's a nitwit. Or is there a dash in there? And do people in Luxembourg just refer to their town as Lux? Or their, well, it... it it's basically a town that's so damn small. Uh, probably not. And does a cat who has already been hit by a car eight times when he runs out, does he say to himself as he sees a giant cement truck coming, Damn, I've run out of Lux! We'll catch you in the next one, folks. <laughs> click the subscribe button hopefully you learned something useful it's just a tutorial but I tried to at least make it entertaining don't you wish your junior high or high school science teacher would have done that for you hmm. that's all we got we'll catch you in the next one tomorrow